Okay, now we are going to discuss build UI to edit a record. Now I'm going to launch my Trailhead Playground first. Get it ready. I'm going to close this one. And next, I am going to launch my workbench over here. Workbench. And I'm going to log into my workbench. Login. And I'm going to REST Explorer over here. Next, I'm going to my terminal and launch my Docker for that read, um, app, read viewer app. What is it called? Read viewer app, I think. Um, yeah, let's just go there first. I want to go to my documents. Developer intermediate read or record viewer app. Okay, and then I'm going to launch my Docker. You've seen this on the previous trail. And then I'm going to open my Firefox to actually open the app, which is um, localhost there. And I'm going to log in here. And my consumer key. This is all from the previous trail. And I'm going to log in and authenticate and allow. A lot of steps, huh? All right, now we are back. Okay. So, we are going to make some edits on the record using the REST Explorer on the workbench. So, we've done that. If log into workbench now I'm gonna copy this this is to show you if we go to the object dash info UI API you will see what is available so if I do that and hit execute and you can see all the objects there if I want to see opportunity, name fields, there you have it, okay? So all the objects that's available in my org. Okay, back to the trail. Now, how do I edit a record from the um, REST API? We can edit a record, okay? So to do that, you connect to the API, the REST API, and then you go to the patch method. So I'm going to make changes on a particular record. So before we do that, um, yeah, let's, let's just do that. So I'm going to go to my universal containers record on Firefox here. If I click universal containers on my recent items, I have the ID here. This is the record ID. So I'm going to copy that ID. I'm going to go back to my Chrome and to my workbench. I need to copy the this first. We are going to make an update, okay? So I'm going to copy that first, which we are going to browse or call on here. Now, I'm going to replace the record ID with the universal container record ID over here. Copy this guy here. And paste there. So this is a patch a patch and then you put the request body 
on what you want to update all right so if i go back here wrong copy i should be copying this one back to workbench boom so what are we doing here we are connecting to the ui api records and we are updating this particular record and change the website to this and the rating to hot so for now if i go back to my record the website is blank right and the rating is blank right it's blank now i'm gonna execute this remember this is a patch execute there we go we have modified it now if i go back here and I maybe I just hit view record again. There you go. Hot and it's www.example.com. It's updated. Now let's go back to the trail. So we did a patch record. So what is a com a compound field? A compound field is like the address, like billing address. This is a combination or a compound of other component field, component field. So, billing address are built from the city, right? The city, the state, the province or the state, and then the postal code, zip code, the country. It's all being added together as billing address. So, as you see here, billing address compound is true okay compound is true and then if you check billing city right compound component name is city and then compound field name is billing address so billing city is a component field of the billing address you can see here Compound component name of the city, but the compound field name is billing address. All right. So there is a compound field. So with the API response, if it is a compound field, you cannot make any edits because it's just a read only. You can check it by this particular JSON response. If the object info dot fields the field then dot compound equals true, which is this, right? Then it's not editable. You can read only, but then you can define what component fields build this compound fields. So check all the fields that has the compound field name is the same as the billing address. So this is billing address. This is billing address. So you know what, what component fields are the members of the billing address compound field. All right. Okay, now um, let's update the, the whole billing here. I'm going to copy here. Go back to my explorer and change this. So we are going to change the address to um, Washington, Seattle, 123 Main Street, USA, where it is currently. Where is the billing address? Um, hmm. It's nothing. It's blank. Okay. So let's do this patch and see what happens. I just executed that. If I go back here, hit the view record again, there. You see the billing address is the 123 Main Street, Seattle, Washington, 98112, USA, which consists of several component fields, which is the postal code, state, city, street, and country. Well, that's pretty much it. So that's how you make a, a patch request to the UI API and update records values, all right? 
So e tags is a way for you to check if there is any modification uh, made. If if so if if you say if none match, so e tag is, is an HTTP header that uniquely identify a response. Your app can pass an e tag back to Salesforce using this. Here's the important part. If the JSON that Salesforce is going to send back is the same as what you have, so you compare it, the e tag you compare it, you get HTTP 304, which means that nothing has changed. And your app doesn't have to deserialize another payload. So it saves traffic. Okay, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It saves it save that. That's basically what you can use, what you, what you can do with an e tag. All right. Okay. So let's do the hands on challenge. Basically, it's the same like we just did, but this is for ABC computing record. So first off, I'm going to get the record ID for the ABC computing record. If I go back here, I'm, I'm just going to refresh this ABC computing. I'm going to get the record ID here. From there, go back to my workbench and put it here. This is my ABC computing record ID. And I want to change the record to what? 123 Main Street, same, Portland, Oregon. This is the zip. So 123 Main Street, Portland, Oregon. Boom. And I'm just going to hit execute. And that's it. So if I go back to my record viewer app and refresh by hitting the view record, it's, uh, where's the address? Blank, right? So if I get hit view record, now we have an address there. Okay, that's how the whole um, update works with the UI um, API. So I'm going to go back to my trail and get my um, 500 points. Boom. I'll see you on the next video where we are going to try a clone record. Okay, that's also interesting. I'll see you on the next video and bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom